Welcome to Project Engineer, where every day we're building better project managers. This is our 10 part video series where we're covering the 10 knowledge areas that you need to know for project management. Welcome back to our video series. I'm Sarah. I'm a certified project manager and in this video we are covering schedule. In this video you should start to see some patterns emerge. Remember I told you one of the main things we're looking for is the patterns in each of the knowledge areas. If you see the patterns then the anomalies will stand out even more. So like scope, schedule is heavy in planning and only has processes in planning and monitoring and controlling. So let's start with the first process. The first process is plan schedule management. As you can imagine, the main output is the schedule management plan. Again, the schedule isn't in this plan. This plan is setting out how we will determine what the schedule should be. The next four processes in planning get us to the final process of developing the schedule, but we need to go in order here. The first one is define activities. In this process, you are listing out all the activities that need to happen on a project, not necessarily putting them in order because the next process is called sequence activities. Here you're going to use tools and techniques to see which activities are dependent on other activities, which activities should go first or later, or that can happen simultaneously. After you sequence the activities, you're going to estimate the activity durations. This will tell you how long the activities will take. Finally, after you've done all those processes in order, you can develop the schedule. Here you actually have your schedule. This is what you are going to follow throughout the project. At this point, we're going to skip executing. There are no processes in the schedule knowledge area in executing. The schedule is actually executed in the integration process called direct and managed project work. So that takes us to monitoring and controlling where the only process left is control schedule. Here, the project manager is going to take in work performance data and output work performance information. At this point, I'm going to point out a pattern that you should see from all the knowledge areas now. Starting with scope, the last video, and going forward, these processes in monitoring and controlling will all intake work performance data and all output work performance information. All right, that's it. That was a quick rundown. As you can see, scope and schedule are kind of similar and the next video cost is going to be similar to these as well. All right, that's it for this video, you guys. Thanks so much for watching. We have a lot more videos coming up and you will start to see the patterns emerge as we continue through the knowledge areas. If you want to communicate with us, please go online to our website. You can find a page there to ask any questions or give feedback. You can also communicate with us on Facebook, Twitter, or YouTube. And finally, if you want more information, since these videos are very high level, please go online, read the articles, or find one of our online courses to take. Also, if you're looking for project management software, you can go to our website and find Nebulome. It's free to start using. Thanks again for watching, you guys. We'll see you in the next video.